All right, guys, in this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to neural networks. Now, if you don't know anything about neural networks at all, then this is the perfect place to start. All right, so today we're going to be talking about neural networks. Now, whenever you talk about neural networks, you're talking about data, right? So it only makes sense that we start there. So let's say we have a simple data set, sales, last year and this year. Now, suppose we wanted to use this data set to try and predict sales this year okay, using sales last year. So this data set would be an example of our training data, okay, and this training data is what our neural network is going to use to essentially create a function that can map our sales last year to our sales this year. This way when we get new sales we don't, we can try and predict sales this year. And each row is a training example, so row 1 is example 1, Row 2 is training example 2, and row 3 is training example 3. Now the goal of a neural network is to map input data to output data. Now looking at this example data set, it's obvious that our sales last year is double the following year, or this year. So the relationship there is to just multiply the sales last year by 2. Now, neural networks go about doing this by using something called weights. So for this training data, our neural network would end up calculating a weight of 2. So 2 times our weight of 2 equals 4. Now when it gets new data, say 8, it would multiply that by 2 and predict sales this year of 16. Now let's go ahead and take a deeper look at how neural networks actually go about accomplishing this. Now you may have heard neural networks use layers, and the first layer is the input layer, and this is just our input data. Now the next layer is our hidden layer. Remember when we multiplied by our weight of 2? That's where this takes place. That's where the data gets transformed to the output layer, and that's our next layer, the output layer. This is what we're trying to predict. Now let's go ahead and draw our layers and our data set up on the screen here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our weight to our hidden layer. Now, you might be wondering, how does the neural network know what weight to choose? How does it know which weight to start with? Well, the answer to that question is it doesn't. It's random. That's right. The neural networks, they start out with random weights. So they just take a random guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a weight here of 1.5 to our hidden layer here. Now next, let's take our input value of 2 from our first example and feed it into our neural network. Okay, we'll multiply by our weight of 1.5 and we get an output of 3. Now we're expecting an output of 4. So we'll take, we'll calculate our error now. Okay, and we'll take 4 minus 3 means our total error was 1. Now let me talk a little bit about what I just did here. Okay, what a neural network does in order to evaluate how well it's doing is it will calculate the error or the loss for each example. So what we did here was we know that our output should have been 4 for this example. Okay, we came up with a 3. So, we ha so how far off were we is what we're doing. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So for this example, our error was 1. Now let's feed in our next training example, our next input of 3. So we'll feed that forward in our neural network, multiply by our weight of 1.5, and that gives us an output of 4.5. Now we know based on our trading data that the answer should have been 6. So let's calculate our error. 6 minus 4.5 is 1.5. Now we're done processing our training data, so let's calculate the total error. 1, .1 plus 1.5 is 2.5. So let's talk about what we did here. What we did is we processed one iteration of our entire training set, albeit two examples, and we know how, about how bad or good we are, right? We know our error is 2.5. Now the goal of an algorithm is to reduce this error, okay, or get close as possible to the expected output, okay? So what we'll do from here is, the next thing an algorithm would do is update the weights. It will tweak the weight a little bit. Now. A machine learning algorithm uses something called a learning rate to adjust the weights, uh, which I'll discuss in another video. But let's update our weight to now 1.75. And let's feed in our first training example of 2 again, multiply by our new weight of 1.75, and that gives us an output of 3.5. 
Now once again we know we were expecting an output of 4. And we'll calculate our error. 4 minus 3.5 is 0.5. So you can see we're getting closer to predicting a value of 4. Last time we predicted a value of 3 and our total error was 1. And now we predicted a value of 3.5 and our total error is 0.5. So now let's feed in our next training example of 3 multiply by our weight of 1.75 and we get an output, a predicted output of 5.25. Next thing we'll do is calculate our error for this example. Should have been 6. 6 minus 5.25 is 0.75. Next let's add this up and calculate our new total error which is 1.25. Now if you remember our previous error was 2.5 and now that we adjusted our weights our new error is 1.25. So our predictions are getting closer and our total error is shrinking. Now the goal here, like I said, is to get our predictions as close as possible and reduce that error and get that as close to zero as possible. So hopefully that makes sense so you can see, get a high level understanding of how neural networks work. Now in our next episode, we're going to talk about learning rate, and that's how neural networks adjust the weights, activation functions, what those are, and we'll also get into bias. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. All right, so that'll do it. This is a new channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.